mouth wide open, mouth wide open, mouth wide open. Look how we got the dentist. Cut. <laughs> Don't cut. Welcome back to the Genjuling Podcast. Welcome back. It's a beautiful, sunny Southern California day. No, it's not. It is gloomy. <laughs> it's so cold. It is gloomy and cold. Cold and is relative. We already had this conversation. Don't come for me. I know it's not snowing, all right, but it's cold. I thought you were on the other end of that argument. I am, but people are still like, oh, you think it's cold? I'm standing in 34 feet of snow right now. My whole house is covered in snow, you big baby. My big brother's a penguin. Nice, uh, he has penguin arms and knees. That's a it's, cute onesie you're wearing. Thank you. Uh, I know they're not a, spot, a sponsor this week, but it is the MeUndies one that they sent me. It's so cute. It's, it's a stormtrooper with a disco ball. Pretty cute. How much do you think it cost them to get that hot Star Wars merch? I know. That's like a serious collab. Hey, guys, get get out of here. Oh, no. We don't have a guest up on no the desk. No guests. Oh, Mumble, you want to be a guest? No. He's busy, like, licking both of them right now. Oof. He's a creep. And Bunny is here. Man. She's in her bed. Hi, um, Bunny. We uh we are gonna do some self care today. It's gonna be a little bit maybe a little bit shorter of a podcast than normal, and there we don't have sponsors today, so we decided Ooh, we today we can stay and do whatever we want. Well, we can say do whatever we want when we have sponsors. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't choose those sponsors. That's why our sponsors are great because they love us for us. They put up with our shit. Um, no, nah, we're just gonna do a little self care today. Jenna had this idea that we would do a self care cast. Self care Sunday because it's Sunday for us. Or we're making this. Yes, that's also why you usually see us in our pajamas and glasses and. Well, that kind of thing. to be fair, I like live in the, yeah, like same. this. Yeah, same. Same, Glasses? Wait, mm-hmm. what? I'm not allowed to wear my glasses? No, I mean for me. Oh, okay. You're not wearing glasses. I got called out super hard because I was like, yeah, if I have the choice, I'm always wearing my contacts. And then people are like, Jenna, every podcast in her glasses because <laughs> it's Sunday. Uh, no, well, we record, at least in the last couple of months, we've been recording on Thursdays and yeah, Fridays. Fridays. Um, this week was a little extra crazy with stuff going on, so we weren't able to... Um, so we're recording on Sunday, but it's, it's time for self care. It's time for self care. We haven't really even gotten our lives back together, um, like we've mentioned in the past on, on a lot of different platforms and podcasts and streams. We haven't been able to le- both leave the house for longer than thirty minutes. We've got to the point where we're sort of, at least for a temporary situation, we're having our trainer come to our house and train us instead yeah. of us going to the gym. And uh, if one of us He's has to go to the enough, store, kind enough to do that. He loves it. It's a good gig. He gets to come and see dogs and train us. He's fine. He likes it. Well, it's, you know, he works it, it at is the gym, a nice so thing he that gets he... to leave yeah. the gym for a little, so it's a little field trip. So we've been doing that. Um, oh. And we've had a lot of visitors. I would say close to close to 20, maybe like 15 people have come to the house and met Bunny. So she's doing well with visitors. Just like a little brief update. But yeah, we are very much glued to our home. He doesn't get to be on here today he can be in my lap he's having a mommy day i don't care about any of that that's that's irrelevant he's not going to be on the table <laughs> he's having a mommy he's going to knock over the glass of water and it's going to ruin all of our equipment he will do that yeah but he's <laughs> worth it look at him he's quite literally not he's worth, worth ruining it. that oh okay oh, if you're gonna if you're gonna make me choose between the apollo and kermit i'm gonna have to think for a little while <laughs> no, okay because if he spills water that thing is oh he just bit you. No, he didn't. He thought about biting me. He didn't. Why Why do I support this toxic relationship? He's having a mommy day. I don't know what that means, and I don't yes, want to. you know exactly what that means. You know exactly what a mommy day is. I need self-care now. This it's, is stressing me out. It's when one of them decides that they're, like, glued to me all day. Enough. <laughs> I need self care. I need a daddy day. I, I need a da- daddy needs a daddy day. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with this. No, no. Oh, we have to introduce everything. No, there's an order, boy. Okay, what's well, the order? Yeah, you can you can use the jade roller right. if you'd like. Thank you. Gosh. So, anyways, explain what this is. So, they welcome know to <sighs> our self care Sunday, which yes. I just made up as a thing. So, honestly, self care Sunday that could be a thing. Mm-hmm. Sounds like one of those things that people do. Well, it's like put nice things on your face and then eat cheaty, naughty food. And play some video games. Yeah. And spend time with spend your dogs. Spend time with your dogs Self-care and loved Sunday. ones, oh, yeah. family. How hard so, am I supposed to press? Like I'm supposed to bruise myself, No. Right? no? You're supposed to let the stone do the work for uh, you. So I was using that the other night on stream and everyone was like, what is that? What is that? What are you doing? What, what's going on? Are you shaving your face? And 
I, I don't remember exactly why I bought it. Like I've seen other people use it and I'm like, that looks cool. But like, that's probably trash, right? That's probably a gimmick. Like that can't possibly do anything. It's just a jade stone on a little stick that you roll on your face. And I, well, to begin with, I bought a skincare fridge because I saw Sophia Nygaard tweet about it. And I was like, that is so extra. That is so cute. But like, I don't, I don't think I need that. Like I like skincare, but I'm not religious about it. And I'm not very good. Sometimes I just fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? But, um, Julian started wearing the little under eye patches like a lot and he really likes them. So he was keeping them in the cheese drawer in the refrigerator so I was like, okay, now's the perfect time. I'm going to just pull the trigger. I'm going to do it. It's ridiculous. I don't care. It's not ridiculous. And, and it's got, honestly like a reasonable price for what you're getting. It's literally a mini fridge. Yeah, they have them in like different price ranges and different sizes. And I also didn't know that people used little refrigerators like that for breast milk or like um, Some di- medication. diabetes yeah. stuff, mm-hmm. uh, insulin yeah. and that kind of thing. They're pretty practical for things like that. And they have, you know, hookups so you could put it in your car, you know, for people that like actually need to travel with their medication that stays There's cold. a lot of different medical reasons for re- little refrigerators like that. Remember yeah, the but I'm B, dumb. Sh- the B shots that. I used to take? <laughs> the what? The B shots that I used to give myself? Oh my god, I hated those, Julian. Okay, we don't oh. need to, you don't need to make a scene. <laughs> I hated those. All I'm so saying much. is those had to be refrigerated. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you're making a whole scene right now. I this hated is... those. They were just literally B complex shots. I hated them. Okay. Well, they were amazing, and I wish I got them still, oh, but I'm, I can't like, get them anymore. I'm getting nauseous just thinking about it. Okay, dude. He would literally, literally, like, you can go at Whole Foods, they'll give you B shots, but it's just like vitamin B. Do they do it at Whole Foods? Some of them, I've seen it. They're like, come in Tuesday for a B shot. You know, someone comes in yeah, and does it, but yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He would give himself B shots. <laughs> it was like, you want a B shot? I'm like, fucking no. No, get I, away I probably, from me. I probably offered you once and then you made this exact scene. So I was like, I'm never offering you again. <laughs> and then I also like never, me. I just did it. I kept to myself. But it's just like, I'm not here to, you know, make a scene about it. It just felt really good. It helped recovery. <laughs> yeah, but you could like go to a doctor and get a B shot. Or you could literally not go I'm to a gonna doctor. I'm going to throw up. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Babe, it's self-care day. Don't throw up. <laughs> Enough throwing up, okay? I was going through the comments of last week's podcast for ideas, and eight eight out of ten comments were about me scream vomiting and how funny that is. And frankly, it's not funny because <laughs> I'm vomiting and it sucks. I saw way more comments that where people like, my husband also scream vomits or like... I, I've, I've seen a, that actually. Thank you for um, telling me that you're loved ones and roommates also do that because now I feel less crazy. Someone um, said that their roommate sounds like they're birthing a demon when they vomit. So that made me feel a lot better about myself. So shouts out to the person who births a demon when they vomit. You're normal too, just like me. (laughs) Anyway, no more vomiting. Anyways, we bought a skincare fridge, which seemed, don't, oh my God, don't do that. All right, you're done touching stuff. You're going to break something. So we bought a skincare fridge because Julian liked likes doing those little under eye patches and he started keeping them in the cheese drawer. So I was like, this is a, a good opportunity. It's a perfect excuse to get Julian a skincare fridge. Yeah, just, you know, project on me. But I was half lying because I think it's fun too. So, so, we, so, then, so then I got a skincare fridge for, you know, all of the skincare that I then purchased to put in it mm-hmm. because I had used all of mine. Mm-hmm. And... I was like, I should get a jade roller because now we have a little fridge. So then it's going to be cold, you know? Otherwise, it was like, who cares? That feels incredible. Do it while it's cold right now. Yeah, it feels really good. I'm going to wipe it I already wiped it. Oh, you're sweet. I am. So then I was looking on Amazon for a jade roller, like no idea what the price range is or, you know, whatever. And it's a little confusing because I'm like... I don't get it. There's a there's like one that's like a hundred bucks. Some are like twenty, and some are like five dollars. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, obviously there must be a deviation in quality here of what's going on. So I just did the best that I could to find one. But I was reading reviews and comments, and people were saying that it helped with like blood flow and with high blood. Like obviously I don't know any of this, but that they have high blood pressure and because it like drains your lymphatic system, that it helped with you know circulation and that kind of stuff. And I, People were saying all kinds of crazy things that it helped them with. And I was like, okay, I I just wanted to roll it on my face, you know, because it feels good. But 
This one I got, I think, for around like $20. Yeah, it reminds me of my first thought was like went between rounds and like a boxing or MMA fight. The cut man has like the little metal slab that he's like reducing the swelling with and like rubbing it on their face. Mm-hmm. That's what that feels like a much in a much less intense and more mild form. Well, I just, I don't know if it's like, I it, it's, Amazon's very confusing. I don't know if it's real jade or whatever. I bought this one because it doesn't have a jade handle. And a lot of people are saying that the jade ones with handles that are made of jade snap in half sometimes. Oh. So. Okay. Know, really so now what is next? We have this stuff, which is literally magic. Drunk elephant. Yeah. So I bought drunk elephant products because, again, people were saying really cool things in reviews that it was really great. And there's, I don't know, whatever. There's no essential oils or like that kind of stuff that can sometimes be problematic for people's skin. So I was like, I don't have sensitive skin or really anything, but Mm -hmm. if somebody loves it, I also want to love it, you know? So this is a TLC Sukari baby facial. And this is like, first of all, on the website, it says only available in the United States, which means some level of this AHA and BHA is probably too high to sell in other countries. Okay. For whatever reason. But it's safe? I don't know that. Yeah, but it's like, it's sort of like a chemical peel almost. So, oh, okay. Do your thing. How do I do it? I'm just going to try it. Put it, put a thin layer on your face. It's like a, like a lotion and then it's going to sting. What? It's chemical. Don't put it near your eyes. Okay, fam? Oh, I already did. No, Julie, don't put it near your eyes. We should have brought like a mirror up here. I can't see anything. We're going to have to help each other. Aw. That's what friends do. Someone said, it was so nice to hear about your friendship retreat. <laughs> when we talked about our vacation. Aw. <laughs> retreat. It was a Retreat is retreat. such a platonic word. <laughs> no, like, it no, isn't. No one ever goes on a romantic retreat. It's either like a work retreat or like a work retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling our vacation a corporate event? That's what people were saying. They were saying it was nice to hear about your friendship retreat. What? Okay, so what is this supposed to do? Okay, just leave it on your face for, a little bit. for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, oh my oh, God. Oh my God. Julian, self-care takes time. You can't rush through it. Uh, self-care to me is doing things so fast that I can do other <laughs> things. <laughs> you can't just do things fast in life so that you can do other things, Julian. You got to take your time. So it literally says like on this packaging <coughs> to like... <coughs> Why does it smell like that? To make sure that you sort of build up your skin's tolerance to other AHAs and BHAs. Because it's going to sting. Like, it makes your face all red. It's intense. You know what I'm saying, fam? I feel like I'm having a reaction to this. I'm sure you are, honestly. Okay, so I have this water. This is really... But that's uh, about it. Sorry, fam. Right, a set up here. (gasps) Okay. (laughs) Julian, when we first started dating, Julian's the first and only person I've ever seen. When he's done eating, he will take whatever napkin, paper, cloth, or anything around him, dunk it in some water, and clean off his hands and mouth with it. I've never seen anyone do that. How is that weird? That's that's like, as far as like the things that I do that you would be weirded out by, that's I wasn't like not weirded high out. on the list. It wasn't weirded out at all. It was just like... Do you do that? Like chat. Not chat in the comments. Let me know. We're if not you guys, live on Twitch. If you guys did, I know I'm like literally streaming 24 hours these days. Um, if you do that, I mean, I feel like I saw my dad do it when I was young, and I was like, oh, okay, that. So that's how he cleans like his mouth and his hands after he's done eating, so he's not a mess. So I do it now. You just take a little napkin. Well, good. It's very easy and convenient. You don't have to go to the bathroom. You can be first to check out the dessert menu, <laughs> or you could eat with utensils and not get it all over your face. Oh, okay. And then there would be no need Miss for Perfect it. Miss Perfect never gets food on her face. I no, see. but I wipe it off with a napkin. I don't feel the need to then Have you like, ever... wipe it off with water. I'm usually like wearing something like makeup or something on my face. I don't want to just like so that's have why a it's, white ring around my mouth. That's why it's weird to you because you, you don't want to like wipe the makeup off. For me, that's not a concern. I just like... like if you're gonna if you're gonna wipe something off of your face mm-hmm. with a dry napkin versus a slightly dampened one, mm-hmm. I'm choosing the dampened one every time because it's way more effective. I don't disagree. Julian used dampened napkin. It was super effective. That's me at dinner. 
That is you at dinner. I just like, you know, in movies when people during a scene, they would walk to a bathroom and like splash water on their face. And I'm like, yeah, but what about your moisturizer and like your makeup? I can't just go to the bathroom and splash water on my face. Then after my face is going to be dry. Like what the hell these people be splashing their faces with water? What they be doing? Why? Movies be like. Have you ever done that? Have you ever just like been really stressed out? So you go to the bathroom and splash your face with water? Never. Never. Why is that a movie cliche? It's the same reason why in movies people start sentences with look <laughs> or listen. No one starts sentences like that. Listen. Yeah. Like no one says We got to find the yeah. code to the safe. Yeah. No, I'm, every time someone says listen to start a sentence in a movie, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm watching a movie. <laughs> this isn't real. So is that on the writers? Is this, this is a, a writer thing that someone made up? It's on everyone. It's on the writer and the actor. What's the actor supposed to do? Ignore that part of the line. Not do their job. Take matters into their own hands. I think that's a great way to get fired. That's a great way to stand out. (laughs) Like, Julian, there's dialogue and all you have to do is just say it. You know what? You're fired. (laughs) Listen, okay? (laughs) See, it just sounds weird. Yeah, but it's not. People totally say that. Yeah, but not the way they do in movies. Yeah, I think you're right. There's like movie words. That in, that like are said in so many movies, especially like the the poorly written ones, that immediately make me feel like I'm watching a movie. Let's get out of here. Then uh, yeah, isn't that the most said line in movies? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh my god, we've hacked the mainframe. That's a good one. Enhance. I think that's a specific genre of film, but yeah. Uh, Seen any good movies lately, Julian? Um, no, I want to see John Wick. I haven't seen that yet. Wait, are you, are you, are you baiting me? Yeah, I'm kidding. What movie did I watch? We haven't seen any movies. Oh, no, I want to see John Wick though. I was supposed to see it with a friend, but never, never did. Um, but I hear they're making a fourth one, so. Already? Yeah, well, they, they like announced that, uh, I guess pretty much the third was so successful that it's like my favorite action series ever. I love it. I watched like. 20 minutes of it and was grossed out by blood of the first it's one. It's not even that gory. It's too much for me. It's like... I'd I'm rather not... watch you give yourself a B shot. No, you wouldn't. I can guarantee you wouldn't. You're right. I'm lying. On the scale of like like action movies and with the ones that are like gory and bloody, and like that ranks really low. Which explains my tolerance level is really low. Yeah, I guess so. I don't like it. I just love I love the way they they do that series. I feel like it's shot really cool and like they leave there's so much substance in the action scenes that there's not like you don't even have to feel like you're watching a million cuts. You just kind of watch the action play out and the gunplay is really great and there's a lot of jujitsu in it too, which is really cool. Accurate jujitsu? Accurate jujitsu. Keanu trained hard for for that series. He trained a lot of jujitsu. That's one of your pet peeves, though, right? When people are doing bad jujitsu in movies, or or not, or not using it at all. When it would be the easiest route in any given fight, most given fights that our movies have. Do you have an example? Um, no, I have an example of um, Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow. Is that her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she did like this. I forget what movie. It's been so long since I've watched a Marvel movie. I like if you want to yell at me, go ahead. I haven't seen Endgame. I haven't watched like the Avengers in forever. But um, there was one scene. I think I was watching with Mark, where I think she did, like she used rubber guard or something, and it took me so off guard because I was like, a Marvel movie, really, you know? Um, yeah, she, it was like it was like one of those big epic fights in the street where everything's getting destroyed and she just decides to use rubber guard. And I was like, wait a minute, that's crazy. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like when, (laughs) when someone's just like on the ground and they're just like getting punched over and over. What should they do in that situation? Not do that. Grab one of their shirt lapels. Do something. I, I don't know. Kick. Not kick. Scream. Scream would work. Scream is good. Tell them a knock, knock joke. There's these, not enough time for that, and it's too loud. These are all of my defenses against jujitsu. No, no. Tickle. That's your defense. You tickle. It's legal. You even yourself said that it's legal. Not that there's any rules if you're fighting someone on the street. There are no rules, but yeah, you wouldn't go into a jujitsu class and tickle someone while you're training. 
So you're saying the coach wouldn't give me a stripe on my belt for tickling and defeating him? He would show you the door. Well, I could take down a black belt, no problem, <laughs> with some good tickles. I mean, if you really work on your tickling technique, tick tech, then, uh, you know, you'd be pretty... But, sl- like, if I beat your coach, who's a black belt, like a third-degree black belt... He's more than third-degree. Whatever. Yeah, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. You wouldn't. Why would you think that's even possible? With tickling? Yeah, with tickling. Okay, then what's the question? If you did that, then what? What color belt do I get? Still white. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. You get a rainbow stripe for all your tickles. Thank you. Anyway, back to my point. I don't know how we got here. What was your point, Julie? My point is John Wick is a really great series, and I'm excited to see the third and eventually the fourth, too. Can I take this off my face? It hurts. It hasn't been 20 minutes. It's definitely been 20 minutes. Julian literally hasn't. Okay. What's that? How much time are we at? Uh, what, what are you pointing at? There's nothing there. Oh, the monitor that's monitoring our audio for the podcast? Oh, yeah. Like uh, 23 minutes? Maybe in a couple minutes you can take it off. It's fine. I'm in no rush. Does it sting? Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. It's weirdly like making my throat hurt. Are you allergic to it? Probably. (laughs) Is your throat hurt? No. At all? Like not even like a little tingle or something? No. Why does my throat always hurt? You're allergic to a lot of stuff. Am I dying? No, I don't think so. How do you know if you're dying? I mean, slowly every day, yeah, but not right now. Not like all at once. Oh, that was wise. Yeah. Damn. Okay. What's your your favorite movie that you've seen recently? Because I know you watch a lot of movies. I've seen a lot of movies that I hate recently. Like what? Well, when we were in Hawaii, we watched Paul Blart Mall Cop. Oh my God, that is such a good movie. Actually, I was enjoying myself because it's so funny and memey at this point that like I I wanted to see what the hype was about. It was so good. I want to watch the second one now. I do too. Paul Blart 2, The Streets, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Paul Blart 2, Furious, I think. (laughs) Blart. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to Paul. It's such a good shitty movie. It, it, was, it made it's just us like laugh a, good time. a lot. Like <laughs> so many plot holes. It's, it's just terrible, but so good. Yeah, it was having. It, it was a good. It put me in a good mood. Yeah, which is more than I can say for a lot of films because I I'm I just don't like a lot of movies. Yeah, it puts you in a good mood, just like stuck on you. That puts me in a great mood. That put me in a frustrated mood because you had been hyping it up so much and it just, it really was that bitch. I have a question. I did like Stuck on You though. Okay. Because it's ridiculous. Okay, fair enough. (laughs) And because you only know Cher from Stuck on You, so I I did like Stuck on You. I'll give you that. What if I decided to not do anything for the next like 21 days and only watch Stuck on You on repeat? Would you be okay with that? First of all, I would call your mom. And I would say, come get your boy. He really needs you right now. Something's no, just, going on. I don't know how to help him. I really like it. I would I would do that. For what, you're asking? Yes. No reason. It's my version of a mental breakdown. Is this like a, a Mr. Beast YouTube video? Yeah, from something like that. A couple years ago? Yeah. You just or gonna... a Jack's Films Twitter th- thread. <laughs> something like that. Right? Or every day I, I watch Stuck on You. It's just such a great movie. So many different dimensions to it. Something about this conversation really isn't self-care Sunday to me. Okay, all. all right. Let's get back to self-care. I'm sorry. This is this is more like frustrating Fridays. Mm-hmm. All right. You or, can... or mindless Mondays. <laughs> or topless Tuesdays. Okay. <laughs> Kermit's always on topless Tuesday. He never wears a top. That boy always naked. Are we wop? Are we whopping? Yeah, just wipe it off. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, why are you like mad at Kermit? Like he's gonna knock over the water and get it on the equipment when you're allowed to dunk your washcloth in there eleven times. Hello? Oh, <gasps> Julie, you're gonna scare Bunny, dude. Even though that washcloth looks filthy, I swear that it's clean. Me at every guest that's ever stayed at our house. We should just get new washcloths. Yeah. 
Well, I feel like there's a threshold when you like use a towel or something with makeup. If you don't wash it like fast enough after, it sort of just kind of like stays there. Or maybe yeah, I'm just of, doing my laundry all wrong. All of the washcloths that have stains are literally just like makeup shit. Yeah. And hair dye and all kinds of stuff. Okay. I'm I don't done. how do people just be having really Whew. clean towels, you know? I feel cared for. All right, put on a a mask of your choice. Hello Kitty. I actually got those in I Japan. Want this one. See, the price tag is in Japanese right there. This one. Oh, yeah. They're pro- cool. I guess they're probably expired. That was so a long time ago. ago. Yeah. Wait, are they expired? I don't know. Is it going to be like rotten egg? I don't know. There's, there's two in here. Do I use both? There's, even if there was an expiration date on it, I can't read it. The whole back is in Japanese. Dude, what, what you don't know, don't hurt you, right? Something like that. What mama don't know can't hurt her. What movie is that from? What movie is that from? Um... It sounds like an Adam Sandler film. Yep, almost it there. It sounds like The Water Boy. It is The Water Boy. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, that's a cute one. Is it on backwards? Ah, uh, ah. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Ah. All right, so if you want to use the jade roller and, and roll any of it into your skin, it's right here. Oh, like roll it on top? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you do a sheet mask, it like just hangs off your beard. I know. I'm like annoyed at that. Oh, there's two in each one. That's literally, literally, literally what I just said. You did, I wasn't listening. I'm so sorry. Oh, babe. Doesn't listen Here. when I talk. Oh. I'm sorry. Hold on. Ready? I was distracted. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I feel like they should, maybe, they probably do. Okay, Julian, they should make half sheet masks for people with beards. Oh my God. What? Shark Tank, where are you at? That is brilliant. It's not brilliant. They probably oh. already make them. And why would a company just start making half sheet masks when a company that already makes them could just add a half sheet mask? What are you doing? Make a prototype. Ah. Do you remember that company that was on Shark Tank that was like Lace Face or something and it just went around your head so that it would stay on Julian? Uh, oh my God. That's so much better. Why don't you look it up? It probably exists. Oh my God. And you look more like a superhero, like Batman. I Batman. look like Batman. I need to talk into my mic. I'm not talking into my mic today. Uh, this feels so much better. I don't feel like there's just like dangly mess on my beard that won't stick to my face. Oh, yeah. This is the stuff, bebe. This is actually a really cute sheep mask, I think. Oh, damn. You look fucking cared for, my dude. <laughs> Thanks, my dude. My guy. Oh, this is a Sunday right here. This is a Sunday stuff. Oh, do 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 do. How do I look? You look great. Thank you. You look very kawaii. Thank you. When we were in Japan, I learned the word kawaii because I, I hadn't heard it before or paid attention to what it meant, I guess. But then I started saying, "Oh, that's so kawaii," and kawaii means scary, but kawaii is cute. Yeah, it's a common mistake amongst white people saying, in Japan. <laughs> I just kept saying, "That's so scary." <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so scary. So scary. Okay, don't... Oh, Julian. Oh. Uh, but, but, but. This feels good. How does your face feel? My face feels goddamn banging. What? I actually... Hey! It's not touching your skin anywhere. <laughs> don't bark at me. You look like a superhero. <laughs> Julian, do you fight crime? Do you... This bitch don't know about Pangea. I'm here to save the day. Unless it's going to take longer than like two hours because I got to be somewhere later. Oh, okay. Where you got to be? What? The racquetball court. <laughs> I got a game scheduled. Okay. What's your favorite form of self-care, Julian? Because this is one of mine. <sighs> this is actually really nice. I would say my favorite form of self-care is obviously food. Like food is my self-care city, right? It's the capital of self-care country. Mm-hmm. So that includes just eating? Yeah, mainly just eating. 
Um, I'm just going to fall at my face. Sometimes I actually weirdly like to like buy myself a new pair of shoes like online. Like I'll, uh, there's like some sites that I'll browse and be like, oh, you know, like most of them are just like ultra boost or something like a different color that I don't have. But I just like a pair of shoes, some food. I'm pretty easy. Office playing in the background, you know, um, a good shower is a nice bit of self-care for me. Uh, cleaning weirdly. I know this sounds weird, but like if there are things that are kind of a mess around the house or like in my closet or wherever that I feel like I can just kind of tidy up, that is self-care for me. Like if I clean the whole kitchen, I feel so good afterwards. It's not fun. I don't enjoy it, but I enjoy what it feels like afterwards. So that's kind of self-care for me. Um, Organizing all my camera gear, right? Like cleaning out all the footage off the cards and cleaning my cameras and the sensors and organizing things like that. That's fun. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just listening to you. Okay. With my face mask on. Um... Sometimes I'll, no, that's it. That's all I do. <laughs> what about you? I like to do nothing. I know. I think we know that by now. I like to cuddle my dogs and do nothing. Yeah. That's a good version of self-care. I'm going to put this wet wa- washcloth on Kermit. No, don't do that to him. Oh, poor baby's having a mommy day. I'm sorry, Kermit. You didn't deserve a wet washcloth. No, you didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I really wonder if this exists. Like, it, why don't you look it up? Like, what, what do I look does. up? Half sheet mask. Yeah. Or Half sheet mask. Sheet mask for beards. Sheet mask for beards. All right, I'm gonna look it up. Tell us what you find. Half sheet mask. Or just like the top of your face. They definitely exist. I've seen them before. Mask for beards. Sheet mask for beards. Nope. I'm not seeing anything. Doesn't exist. What about a half sheet mask? I searched that. You found nothing? Found nothing. They definitely exist. I mean, I'm not going to like do a deep dive on Google right now. I'll look later, but I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure we'll figure it out if it exists. Regardless, we're pitching it on Shark Tank. I already booked us next week. <laughs> okay. So this is the prototype we're working with right now. I don't think you can pitch someone else's product ripped in half. To each their own. I think you can. What are your sales? $200 million last year. We're projected to do 400 this year. See, I can say numbers. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not how you get a deal. You can't lie. Listen, I'll con every single one of those sharks except Robert Herjavec because he <laughs> won't invest. Oh, my God. Wait, are we back to flaming Robert? <laughs> Wait, what did someone no say when we were flaming Robert? roasting and flaming Robert. <laughs> <laughs> it was like respect my father or something. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, my face feels good. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put some oil. I'm on. gonna iron some of this on. Oh, you're done? Yeah, because Quit look her. at my face is all pink and red. This is this is no joke. That's some real. Is quitting part of your self care? I'm just kidding. Oh my god! Wait, so what is this? No, that's that's a little Virgin Marula luxury facial oil. Yeah. Nourish and balance. I really like Drunk Elephant. I like, oh my God. But they're, it's so expensive. Oh, whew. So Am I, can, I glowing? I buy the little ones. What is this lotion? Yeah, it's put it on your face. But I did buy a big one of like some of the other stuff. But I didn't buy this one in the big version. So I just have a little one for now. Look how pink and red my face is. It's a good day to do this because then tomorrow I'd be looking normal, you know? Yeah, your your skin is, I think, more sensitive sometimes than mine, like to stuff like this. Because we just did the same, um, what is it? The mask, the the peel mask, the mm-hmm. chemical thing, whatever. And my face is, is my face red? A little bit, but you look really cute. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, your your face is like, it's clearly... Reacting more. Irritated as hell, bitch. Oh, shit. But you look like you're self-caring. I look just I like I put some water on my face. Wow, that must be so nice. 
what what you lack in sensitive skin, you make up for in sensitive eyes and allergies. So, oh, oh, what? I have a lot of sensitive sensitive allergies that really weirdly pop up, and I have I still don't know like what I'm allergic to. Yeah, that's the most frustrating part because you'll wake up. Super I wonder if that's normal. And you do that thing where you go like eleven times in a row, and I just go, "Babe, are you okay?" I feel like I'm dying. But you could never tell what you're allergic to but unless like, you isolate certain things. Is, yeah, is that like an, that must be a normal thing where people like have seasonal or otherwise like regular allergies, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm just allergic, or I have daily allergies, and I take like a daily allergy pill for it." But I don't know exactly what I'm allergic to. Yeah, but that's the thing. Even if you did like an allergy test and you found out what you were allergic to, regardless of what it is, you would still have to take like a, whatever you take, is it you, Claritin or yeah, something? Yeah, like a Zyrtec or whatever, but you, then you'd be able to avoid that one thing. I should do or, an allergy test. Or could you though, if it was something in the air? Yeah, I mean, well, provided the answer is like, okay, it's uh, dust. Like, yes, you could take measures to like dust more or vacuum more or whatever. But if it was like, you can't roll around in the grass. <laughs> Then I wouldn't roll around the grass. If you had a grass allergy, though, it would show up on your skin. I have a grass it? allergy. If I lay around in the grass, if I roll around, I get like red Hivey? and hivy. Yeah, uh, that's why you don't see me uh, amongst being an adult who doesn't roll around in grass. <laughs> that's why you don't see me roll around in grass. I love rolling in the grass. Okay. Why don't you? I do. I don't see you do it. Wait, so if you're allergic to grass, does it show up on your skin as well as like give you an itchy throat or just the skin? Um, it's more of the skin for me. It's more of itchy skin. The throat thing, like when I when I have to make that like itchy throat noise or I'm like my ear, you know, like that thing, that's like I feel like something that's in the air that I'm – by the way, I'm a doctor. So, uh, you know, if it's like dust or pollen or whatever, that's like airborne – that's when when I get like that. We, we uh, recently just changed our air conditioning filter in the house. And before we did it, it was really bad because I think the AC was like pushing out all this like dust and allergen shit. And so when we got the new filter, it immediately made a difference. Like the next night I was like, holy shit, I feel good. I don't have any allergies like that. I've never had to just like take a allergy medication like that it's yeah. frustrating so i see you have to do it like a lot yeah i have that and asthma like i don't know it's all just kind of like what i've dealt with forever it seems normal it's kind of crazy that you don't have it i had like sports asthma like i had an inhaler for a while and then sort of grew out of it hmm. i so that's that was the opposite for me well it well, it happened for me and then i grew back into it no i swear yeah like um like when I was a kid, I had allergy or asthma and I would have to take it every day. And then high school and like some of college, I sort of outgrew it to where I like, if I forgot my inhaler, it wasn't a big deal. I could still work out or whatever. Now and then you now I, it. now I need it. And it's not like if I run, I can't breathe without it. It's like I start wheezing a little bit. It's just like that, that wheezing feeling. Well, sucks. I still wheeze. Should I be using an inhaler? Well, if it's an asthma wheeze, then yeah. There's different types of wheezing, I would say, but there's a distinct one from when you have wheezing asthma. To, wheezing to be funny? Wheezing to get out of doing the exercise that you don't feel like you're, doing anymore? You're good at doing things to get out of exercise. I, I, Okay, first of all, I never get out of exercises. I just joke about getting out of exercises. I try to barter my With way out. With trainer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's on to your shit. I still do them. I still do everything. I don't complain. Shut up. Just do it. But like first I make a joke and barter just to see. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'm good at negotiating. You are. Sometimes you just claim that your legs don't work though. <laughs> and that doesn't really, it's not believable. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No, you say, you walk into the gym and he says, okay, warm up, do on the treadmill. And then you say, I'm so tired from being born. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like Jenna, stop. Why? It's true. I'm tired from being born. It was a traumatic experience that I'm still trying to deal with. Hello, I think everyone can relate. You're sick. How am I sick? I'm just kidding. You're cute. Oh, thanks. Are you doing the jade roller again? Yeah, I'm jade rolling that marula oil into my face. Oh, 
Um, can I try? Yeah, in a second. I'm not I wanna, done. I'm curious to know what you guys do for self-care. Because I want to get some ideas for self-care. So maybe self-care Sundays, we can add some stuff to our routine. Routines. Routier. Ru- Is that plural for routines? Routines. Fancy. Rotundi. Rotundi. What yep. are you going to eat today since it's Sunday and Kay. that's such a big part of your self-care? I don't know. I'm going to take care of myself with some Carl's Jr., you know? Yeah, we're, we're still, dude. Burger, I want a, a burger. Burger, burger King, we're waiting for you, dude, to get that Impossible Burger. I'm waiting patiently. Burger King I is just, my father. I just want to try it. Do and they put flour on their fries at Burger King or no? No, I think McDonald's is one of the only like main chain fast food restaurants to do that. Right. And maybe Jack in the Box, but I don't really eat there ever. Uh, but yeah, Burger King and the Impossible Burger is like something I'm holding my breath for and waiting very patiently for. Can I try that? But they're not going to have gluten-free buns. Are you cool with just a lettuce wrap? I love a lettuce wrap burger. I like one in a bun. I like a lettuce wrap burger, A, because gluten-free buns mostly suck, and B, because you eat the whole burger and you're like, I don't really that like feel that horrible right now. I like feeling horrible. Okay, cool. Can I? Okay. What's <laughs> Hold on a second. What, Julian? I was gonna wipe this off for you. You you don't want to just like too late. I go already, from my face to your face. Too late. I already cared for myself. It's you're. This is like can get bacteria and stuff on it. Then you're just gonna jam it into your skin. Oh, bacteria. Okay. Fancy. <laughs> don't Jade roll your glasses. <laughs> you you gotta go side to side. I think that's what the little diagram said. Okay, you know. <laughs> Hold on, I got an itch. And that's exactly why people's jade rollers break because they let their boyfriends use them for one second. And you did it way too hard. Boyfriends be like breaking things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this, my skin feels, feels good. good dude. How's your skin feel? I feel great. I honestly want to just hang out in that makeup fridge because it's so nice and oh, cold. Oh, it's so cold. I want to put some eye. So um, the eye patches that I like, I I still don't know what the name of the thing is. I have to figure out the name of the ones I like because mm-hmm. the ones we have are like slimy and they fall off and then the other ones don't stay cold, but the other ones are like perfect. So maybe on the next episode of Self-Care Cast, I'll have those eye patches here and we can do like the next the next kind of group of stuff that we have added to our routines. But I'm going to look for those and get those because those, like when you wake up, especially after you drink the night before, when you wake up, what? <laughs> When you drink the night before and you wake up and you're like a little puffy, a little tired, a little hungover, whatever, you put some of those from the fridge under your eyes. Oh my God. You're a, you're a new man. I feel like they don't do that much for me. They really don't. Well, rolling stone on my face, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but it doesn't do a ton for me either. So. I feel like after, like during, it feels like nice and cold and good. But then after, like a few minutes later, I'm like, oh. My face feels kind of good. Mm, I feel that way about the patches. Mm. Do you want to fight? Yeah. Okay. Physically, verbally, or telepathically. Two out of those three are problematic. Let's telepathically fight. Ready? Three, two, one. Damn, my just got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Your skin is glowing. I know. I hope my skin calms down in a little bit because it's so, I look like a strawberry. You're a cute strawberry. Thank you. Thank you guys for spending your uh, your time with us and listening to the podcast, watching the podcast. And hopefully, maybe you also did some self-care while listening, right? That was a good episode to do some self-care too. Or you you didn't do some self-care and you just were stressing over a paper that you have to do or studying or getting yelled at by your mom who just won't quit. Hopefully you're in your pajamas though, because it's better to be stressed in your pajamas. But if you're not in your pajamas, that also probably means you're on your way to work, which means it's good because you have a job and you know you're you're doing. It's Monday, okay? Oh wait, it's a holiday. Hey, get in your pajamas. <laughs> Fuck it. It's a holiday. It is a holiday, but that that's an American holiday. Yeah. So if you're in Australia, you might still be going to work, Australia. So don't wear your pajamas. You might get fired. <laughs> And if you get fired, don't tell them it's our fault. Actually, blame us. What are they going to do? Blame Julian in particular. Blame me. Just blame me. Okay, well, thank you guys for hanging out. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week for another podcast um, with less 
just nonsense and stuff on the table because this is this is a mess. This is a mess. But we'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. We'll be on uh, uh, Twitch all week long. We're actually going to be playing a fun story game this week. Oh, yeah, because my PC shit the bed. Jenna's PC shit the bed. It died. It died. It so literally said goodbye, cruel world, and then died. Just died. PSU broke. So um, because due to the circumstances of one PC completely breaking on us, we've decided we're excited to play a new uh, story game together. Not because, you know, we plan that outside of our computer breaking, but it's okay. We're going to be playing a fun story game. It'll be, it's called uh, Life is Strange 2. We played the first version of it a couple of years ago on stream, and it was, I think, a pretty big hit with you guys. Yeah, but we played the second one for a little bit, and people were mad at us for being mad no, at it, so we're we not going to be mad no, at it. We're we going to be invested. No, we did not play the second one. There was a there was like a 1.5 that we played. The second one is something we have not touched at all oh, yet. okay. But yeah, we did play like this, like the next installment of it, and we were kind of shitting on it. But regardless, we're gonna we're have some gonna fun this week. We're not gonna do that though. We're and, gonna um, buy into it. Yeah. So join us on Twitch. We'll be there. And uh, if we don't see you there, we'll see you next week on the podcast. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see. Uh, be good. Bye. Bye.